product that we've been trialling for quite some time now and probably give a little bit of a review. Um, we're not big on doing reviews but we actually want to get this product out there because it is actually a really good product. And today we're going to be talking about tyres, in particular with regards to Toyo tyres. Uh, not this tyre here sadly, <laughs> the old bar tread. But the reason why I've got the old bar tread here and I've got the brand spanking new Toyo tyre open country mud terrain here is to give you a good comparison of where things have come. Now it is very much chalk and cheese. The bar treads were really good back in their day but one of the key problems with the old bar tread was that they just didn't wear evenly. Though in the case Though in the case of the open country mud terrain by Toyo Tyres, that is definitely no concern at all. We've been really impressed with this tyre and how it's performed. We've had it in mud, we've had it in gravel, we've had it in sand, and it has handled all the terrains superbly. We've been really impressed with how it's handled. The key handling characteristics of this tyre obviously come down to the tread and the composition of the rubber itself. One of the great things about it being a mud train tyre is it hasn't gone down the route of the Nicky Thompson barjar core, going for a directional tyre tread. It is quite even. It's very different compared to its BF Goodridge counterpart out there. As you can see with the tread itself, the one thing I like about it is the treads are nice big lugs. This means that it's relatively quiet on the road because the road noise that you get is actually from the vibration of the tread. We've got nice, sharp, angular lugs here too, which really help to actually dig in and bite into that material that you're driving through. The side lugs here are really its party feature. They're nice, solid lugs with a split down the middle too, so they've got that ability to flex. Now, without that slit there, we'd actually start getting big notches coming out of it because the lug itself wouldn't have the ability to twist and flex. The other key feature which I'm really a fan of is the sidewall. The tread extends down, this makes it slightly thicker, particularly at this point and protects the sidewall from punches. The other key feature that not a lot of people have actually talked about and I think is fantastic is if you are in a very muddy environment if you're driving through old river channels, if you're driving on marshland, having good lugs on your sidewall makes all the difference. Because if you're going through that rut or it's starting to dig down, you need every bit of tread, every bit of grip that you can possibly get. And I've been in situations where my tyres have just been slightly wider than the rut itself, and it's been these on the sides, these side lugs, that have been able to pull me through and get me out of trouble. So it's really a really, really handy feature. Obviously, like most tyres nowadays, they are a radial tyre. The great thing about radials are is that they use a steel cord, steel cord that's actually in the tyre itself. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, having a good gauge steel cord in your radial tyre allows the tyre to be able to flex and to be able to operate at low pressures and to do it continuously. Going back to the old bar tread with the old rag tie with the nylon cords, yes you could operate them at low pressures but the problem was being nylon the cords would wear through, you'd then hit the highway and you'd get a blowout. But having a good radial construction like what these tyres have here, you don't have that to worry about provided that you're using the correct pressures. Now the Toyo open country mud terrains are renowned for having a nice thick sidewall. Now some people criticise this as being a bad thing. I, I particularly think it's a very, very, very good feature to have. On sand, yes, it's probably not the best, but certainly where I've used them in arid environments, it's been really, really good to know that I've got a good, strong sidewall because there's a lot of stakes out there. And when I'm talking about stakes, these are actually trees that have actually weathered away and all, 
all that is left is the stump and they can be the size of my finger and I've seen them go through a 12 ply tire just like that so having a good thick sidewall off-road for me is a very good feature particularly in an arid environment also even even going through mud holes and that too you never know what's in there you can you can look over the hole as quickly as you can or as thoroughly as you can but there'll always be a stick a bit of steel you never know it's it's really good to have a nice thick sidewall the composition of the tire itself obviously being a mud terrain is relatively soft compared to your ATs and your highway terrain tires now that's not a bad thing it is a good thing I think because in wet conditions you're actually going to get relatively good grip and handling on the road not just that but if you're looking at doing rock crawling too over smooth surfaces you want that slightly you want that slightly softer composition to be able to bind and grip to that surface to give you the maximum amount of traction so we've been using these for nearly a year now and we haven't had one puncture also we've done the canning stock route and we've also just finished our expedition across Tasmania we'll be using these again in the future as we've got another documentary coming up at the end of the year but all I can say is next time you're looking for a set of tyres whether it be for your Land Rover Series 3 your Discovery or any other vehicle that you've got consider Toyo tyres they won't let you down <laughs>